Hey everyone, here's a question. Find the HCF of 144 and 192 by prime factorization method. So what is prime factorization method? We have to express this given number in terms of prime factors. So here we have to find out the prime factors of each number. For that, I'm going to use a division method. So division method is very simple, where you have to divide each number with the prime numbers and then you're going to get the, all the prime factors here. So we're going to do it for this separately. In LCM, we're going to do it together for both the numbers but here I'm going to do it separately and then once I get the prime factors I'm going to find out the HCF. So first number here is 144. Now this is an even number. So I'll see a lot of uh, comments that 2 is not a prime number. So 2 is an even prime number. It's only one number which is even and it's prime. We're going to divide 144 by 2. I'm going to divide here itself. So it's we have a 14 so 2 7s are 14 and we have 4 so 2 2s are 4. We got 72, it's again even, it goes in two table. So 2, we have 7, right? So 2, 3s are 6. Then 1 will be the remainder. That, I'm going to write this along with 2. That makes the number 12. So 2, 6 are 12. If it's confusing you, you can just uh, divide the number separately. You can divide 72 by 2 and write the answer in the next step. We got 36, it goes again in 2. So 2, 1s are 2. 1 will be the remainder. So that makes the number 16. So 2 8s are 16. It's same like how we do a normal division. Then 2 9s are 18. Then 9 doesn't go in 2. So we're going to take the next prime number which is 3. So 3 3s are 9. And the next number will be 3 1s are 3. Next we have 192. It's again an even number. I'm going to start with 2. So we 1 doesn't go. So I'm going to take the first two numbers. So 2 9s are 18. 1 is a remainder. That makes a number 12. Then 2 6s are 12. We got 96. 96 is an even number. It goes again in 2. We have 9. So 2 4s are 8. 1 is a remainder. That makes a number 16. Then 2 8s are 16. We got 48. Again it goes in 2. 2 2s are 4, 2 4s are 8. We got 24, it's even number, it goes again in 2. So 2 1s are 2 and then 2 2s are 4. We got 12, it goes in 2, 2 6s are 12. We got 6, again it goes in 2, so 2 3s are 6. Now we got 3 here, 3 1s are 3. Right? So we have done, once we got 1, we can, have, we can just stop there. And we have got all the prime factors. We can ex able to express this given numbers in terms of prime factors. So write down all these prime factors what we got here. So 144 is equal to, it's write down all the factors. It is 2 into 2 into, we got 4 2s, right? So 2 into 2 into 2 into 3 into 3. Next we have 192. So 192 is equal to, again same way, write down all these factors here. We got here 5 2s, not 5, we got 6 2s and 1 3. So it's 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 into 3. Now once we have done this, we have to circle up the factors which are present in both. So here you can see this 2, I'm going to circle up these 2s because they are present in both. Even these 2s are present in both. This 2 is present in both. Here I'm going to circle the next 2. But if you see I have a 2 here. For this 2, I don't have a, a 2 present here in 144. So I cannot take it as common there. Next we have a 3. 3 we can go and take it as common. 1, 3 we won't take it as common. There's a one more 3 left out in 144. But there's a no 3 left out here. So we cannot take that as common here. Right? So now once we have taken all the common factors, from each uh, round, whatever we have rounded up, from each that, we have to take one factors and multiply. So HCF will be equal to, so HCF is equal to, from each pair what we have circled, take one one factor. So from here I'll take one two, from here I'll take another two, and from here one two, from here one two, and from last I'm going to take one three. Now multiply all this number. When you multiply, it will be equal to, so it is 2 2s are 4, 4 2s are 8, 8 2s are 16, 16 3s are 48. So HCF of 144 and 192 is 48. That's it. So I hope this question is clear how to find out the HCF of any two numbers. In case you have any other question or doubt, you can drop a comment. I'll try to make a video on it. Thank you so much for watching.